I interviewed Charleston White recently. And, and the crackhead. I, I remember the first time I talked to you and I mentioned Charleston White, I thought there was a synergy. What's the issue with um Hassan Campbell? I thought y'all was supposed to be cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, Hassan Campbell is a fraud, homie. Where I felt like, you know, I remember when I did, whether it was a war in Chirac or I spoke about a certain type of shit that happened in the streets, people would be like, well, act, you're not in the streets. So, like, like y- y- your perspective is kind of thin. I, th- I thought we was cool. Uh, until uh, my opinions uh, differed from his. Uh, I used to invite Hassan Campbell to come to Texas, homie, and do community work. Uh, I brought FBG Duck Mama, I brought Tuka Mama, uh, I brought them to uh, Meadowbrook Middle School. Uh, and I always said that, you know, I think Charleston White, who's been someone who's been incarcerated at a point in his life, and also you, somebody who's on, actually hold on, hold on. been there, you guys got more. L- you talking about this nigga right here, right? Cameras on it? Talk about that nigga? Ooh, what was that? Talk about this nigga? I don't know what that is. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you talking about this nigga? Nah, I don't know. Wait, I don't Charleston know. Charleston White? I don't know where that's, that's from. Right. You talking about this? You talking Charleston about this nigga? Chew? That's Charleston Chu. That's you talking about this nigga? Well, no, you talking about this nigga? Out, wait, wait, wait. No, no, hold up. Let press, press play. <laughs> look, look, press play. Look, 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 look. Issues like that. Look, look, look. What that nigga doing? He He's saving the children. No, he's saving the children. Wait, hold on. Look, look. You talking about the nigga that's saving the children? I can't see. I can't see. No, no, no. No, no. no, no. no, no. I see you. No, I see you. I see you. He love the kids. No, I see you. I see you. He love the kids, right? Well, hold on, though. No, he's the savior of the kids, right? I would invite her son Campbell to come out and do work. I thought he was a community nigga. Uh, how many don't do no community work? There was a nigga humping the bag. The there nigga, was a point. Yo, he got a. Yo, he might as well have a Susie. The nigga humping the bag. My whole thing is like this, right? Y'all were cool at one point. I helped promote the nigga. And so I saw certain things. Like what? First of all, I always leave a rope around every nigga that I know. This is how you know who your brother, who your brother ain't. When I meet niggas, the rope is already around yeah. your neck. Real shit. It's on you to hang yourself. Yeah, real shit. I say that all the time. Yeah. I say that you all hang time. yourself. But Charleston, I knew Charleston was a piece of shit. He adopted my whole style and everybody else's. He took Tommy Sotomayor. He took Hassan Campbell. He took Kwame, he took everybody. To make his own self that one piece that he wanted to be. Here's the thing though, right? Oh, you mad because I'm styling on you. <laughs> I never wavered on who I am. What about her son, Camel? He, he, like, he, he said you jock his style. Nah, I ain't jock now, nigga style. I've been fucked in that. To the point to where that people call me a rat. Because I started saying, my slogan became, lock him up. Nigga, you robbed that old senior citizen woman in that building? Lock that nigga up! A 73-year-old man died a day after police say a group of kids beat him. You a piece of shit. Now, if that bitch a drug dealer, that's a problem. I'm if you shoot a two-year-old child, I want I'm you not- to go to jail. But here's the thing, I don't want to tell you, you turn yourself and have some integrity. The niggas of my time, where I come from, if we got beef, we walked up on a nigga and said, hello, and it was over for you. And by the way, you had a chance to send African Bambada to jail. Nigga, you didn't send him to jail. Teen and 16, that man got bodies. That nigga Hassan Camel got bodies, homie. Homie, at 15 years old, you ain't finna walk up there to go get that dick. At 15 years old, you, 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 you get molested, putting your clothes back on, walking back down there, but you, but you a killer. You got bodies at this age. Homie, 14 years old, homie, we were murdering. Ain't no way in the world you shoving dick on me and I don't want it. At 14, 15, 16, homie. Maybe 7, 8, 9, but not in the teen years. And I get to go home and come back? What's making me come back? And knock on the door and wait for you to open it up. Because I ain't got a key. I'm walking back to come get this dick and knocking on the door. Real niggas don't sit up there and sh- <laughs> I, I ain't never about got a dick big as African Bambata. Just yeah. think, well, look how he look how Who the hell is it? Oh, man, man, his name is, he's an African. They had a dick chart that went viral last year. 
Boy, they had some Congo niggas dicks. They say it was, they was at the top of the chart. The old school, yeah, listen, like that be the old school generation that I came from, the old school niggas that I came from, if you did things like that and the police put pressure on the hood, they will come knock on your door and tell you, and go you turn yourself in. Right. Go turn yourself in. That's, that's the error of my pop. I want, I want, I want the civilians to understand. Y'all don't play by our rules. If you tell on me, if I shot a two yell, if I mistake, even though it was my mistake, I earned that. I gotta wear that. Men have to be, you know, when you watch a samurai, you watch the last samurai, right? If the nigga lost the sword fight, he killed himself. No camera on shit. If I knew the serial killer was living next door to me, yeah. no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call and tell anybody on him, but I'll probably move. Like, I'm not going to be around because... I don't need to be living around serial killers, but I'm not gonna call him. My son Cam was a fraud, homie. Well, you know a nigga that kidnapped 35 females and killed them, and you told me I ain't snitching. Nigga, if you kill 35 of our women out of our community, if we can't catch you and the police caught you, the whole community gonna tell on you, nigga. You killed our mothers, our daughters, our sisters. This is not drug shit. This is not gang shit. You killed civilians. There's a difference. So we ain't gonna sit up there like, oh, I ain't telling on the, the serial killer that killed the two-year-old girl and he done raped her a thousand times. No, there's a difference. Grown men do grown shit. A nigga named Bam Bada. Fucking it. Bam Bada. Real niggas that move real, we be laughing at the judge. And the judge be laughing at us too. Like, they tell the judge to tell you, when I was going to court, he say, look out that window. And See now, that tree right there? I don't see no tree, Yana. He said, when you come home, there's gonna be a tree right there. And that's they sarcasm. And the tree gonna be tall, nigga. You on the sixth floor. Son, why he always got, he in love with you, Man, nah, he ain't in love with me. He in love with African bad bottom. Hold this hot, this hot slug. Pow! Any thoughts on that? <laughs>